Hi, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Curb River City Living. I'm Jill Morenz with the Catalytic Fund. Today, I'm going to take you inside this beautiful 1840s home that actually houses several apartments. We're going to see the one on the top two floors. It's a treat and I can't wait to show you. Northern Kentucky's river cities are pretty cool. They're an exciting blend of historic and modern. As you explore the eclectic neighborhoods, you'll discover world-class public art, charming parks, interesting architecture, and friendly people. In this series, we take you beyond the curb, inside some of Northern Kentucky's most interesting homes. Come along with us. We know you'll love it here. The presenting sponsor this season is the Boardwalk Residences at Ovation. Stay tuned at the end of the episode for an update on this exciting development on Newport's riverfront. This beautiful building is in Newport's west side, which fairly recently earned the designation of Local Historic District. The roof deck, which you will see later, was approved before the neighborhood received that designation. The owner, Mary Soler, tells us how she came to be living here. I was living in Newport and wanted to uh, get an investment property since I love Newport so much. Actually, the neighbor next door had uh, indicated that there was a property that he thought was going to go up for sale. And I came, it was not put on the market, walked through it. What really sold me on the property was the third floor. And at that point, it was an attic space. I moved into the lower level of this building um, thinking I wouldn't be here long term. As I continued to think about it, um, the second and third floor was like an ideal space to get a little bit larger space and I could continue to live in the building. So that's when the work began. With the exposed brick, clean white walls, fun tile treatments, black window trim and quirky accessories, Mary's apartment is a feast for the eyes. Found a contractor and really just designed everything myself. I chipped plaster off of the walls, um, you know, exposed all the brick. Um, I do the painting. The sleek kitchen blends into the main living space with a bathroom and pantry also on this level. Mary uses the space under the stairs for both open and closed storage. On the second level is the incredible bedroom. I love the reading nook that Mary tucked into the tower in her bedroom. It's very romantic. It feels almost like something you'd find in Paris. The green paint on the closet and windows is original and the patina adds to the old world feeling. My favorite features of uh, the, the property itself, I mean, just going back to the third floor. The attic space was never used. It was really just storage. It is the tallest ceilings in the whole building. So you would expect on a third floor to be a smaller attic space, not very tall. Um, really, the windows, um, everything about the space called you know, it's very artistic, very appealing, um, almost European in a sense. At the top of the stairs between the bedroom and bathroom is Mary's office. The master bath, um, just coming up with the plan and designing, was just, I, I drew, I remember drawing on a piece of paper. You know, I really did, again, the research to get it to where it was. A lot of walls came down, and this is the first time I've totally rehabbed a property before. Really, really fun. My most favorite things, too, is just finishing out the ceiling upstairs on the third floor. I came up with a, um, using birch plywood and um, I polyurethane those things four to six times. It turned out probably beyond my expectation. Oh. 
There is a rooftop deck that was built um, when I started doing the rehab, and that actually was one of the very first things I had done. It is just a 360 degree uh, view of not only uh, Cincinnati, but Newport um, to the south, north, east, and west. I exit out my bedroom and I can go right up to the rooftop. The railings on the roof deck were installed shortly after we finished filming. There's also a charming backyard space shared by the residents. Living in Newport, I hands down just fell in love with um, everything about it. Um, it's walkable to Cincinnati, small city. I fly out um, from the airport quite often and it's very convenient. And again, I mean, I've walked downtown, you can go to Reds games, and you know, Newport is on the move now. One of the places I like to go in Newport is the uh, Baker's Table Bakery. And it just offers coffee and freshly made bakery goods, and um, they do homemade pizzas too. And it's just a really great cafe feel. You can get a glass of wine, have a little pizza, and it's walkable. So, that, you know, that's again the beauty of living here is the walkability. I mean, I, I say I probably could go without a car. Thank you so much for joining me on our tour of this amazing two-story apartment in Newport, Kentucky. I'd love for you to watch our other episodes at beyondthecurb.org. I'm Jill Morenz, and on behalf of the Catalytic Fund and our sponsors, thank you for coming Beyond the Curb with us. Now here's an update on the Boardwalk Residences at Ovation, our presenting sponsor for this season. Connectivity to the river, that's what makes the Ovation development so unique. Typically, a levee system serves as a barrier, separating the community from the river. Corporex worked collaboratively with the Army Corps of Engineers to modify the levee system to provide direct connectivity to the riverfront park and the river at Ovation. A boardwalk will stretch 1,500 feet along the boardwalk residences, hugging the base of the residential buildings with retail and experiences that bring value, accessibility, and energy to the community. This unique pathway will also overlook the river, providing an atmosphere and view like no other. Check it out at OvationOnTheRiver.com or take a walk and see it in person.